Let's move along to division with three digit quotients. Let's start with this problem here where we have 432 divided by 2. It might help us to remember our division family to remember those steps of division. We will start place by place by place. We'll start in the hundreds place, and we have four hundreds divided by two, which equals two hundreds, and that's why we place the two right there within our answer. Two times two is four, and four minus four is zero. When we're bringing down a number, we will bring down one digit at a time. And in this case, we bring down the three and the three tens. We would put the three tens together with this zero here, of the zero hundreds, if, there, if it wasn't zero, then we would have a bigger number that we were dividing at that point. When we have three divided by two, we get one. One times two is two, and three minus two is one. At this point, we can go ahead and bring down our two. And if we bring down our two, we put it together with that one there, we get 12. That was a 110 because we had just worked in the tens column. And 12 divided by two is six because 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. We are now done. We have a 3-digit quotient. We could do our check of 216 times 2 to make sure our answer is correct as well. And believe me, it is. There we go. It checks. So again, you'll just have one more step to do at this point because you'll have to bring down another digit so that we end up getting a three-digit quotient. Let me show you another problem where we have 953 divided by 6. Again, we start with the hundreds place, 9 divided by 6, which is 1, 1 times 6, which is 6, and 9 minus 6, which is 3. We bring down the 5, and sometimes students, again, get stuck here as they don't really know as to how many times that 6 can go into 35. <laughs> are you that student? Are you thinking, um, oh, I'm that student? What sometimes helps them is to write out those math facts involving those sixes, and they'll write out those multiples of six. So we have four times six, which equals 24, five times six, which equals 30, and six times six, which equals 30. At that point, we can look at these multiplication facts here, and we know, oh, I can't go as high as 36, but I can go to 30 because this is 35. We can't go over it. And then so we multiplied 5 times 6 and that's why there's a 5 up here in our quotient. 5 times 6 is 30. 35 minus 30 is 5 and then we can bring down the 3. Again, we always have to see whether or not there's anything else to bring down. We bring down that 3 right next to the 5 to get 53 ones and if we're dividing 53 now by 6, we end up getting 8. What we could have done if we couldn't remember that is we could have continued our multiples here to get 6 times 7 equals 42, 6 times 8 equaling 48, and I know that 6 times 9 then is too big because we only had 53 to divide. 8 times 6 is 48, and 53 minus 48 is 5. 5 is our remainder. We must write our remainder within that answer. Check is much the same way. Where it is, we have to show that work and do that work to go ahead and check that problem. And as you see, that does check. Here's one for you to try. We're dividing by 5 and 673 by 5. I'm going to write out those steps there for you, and you might want to write that for yourself as you continue to work and continue to learn more about division. Hit pause. Six divided by five is one, because one times five is five. Six minus five is one, and I bring down one digit at a time. I bring down the seven. 17 divided by five is three, because three times five is 17. Ha <laughs> ha, no it's not. Three times five is 15. Silly me. 17 minus 15 is 2, and then at this point, you still have another number to bring down. We bring down the 3 right next to the 2 there. Does your work look okay so far? What was that last step? 23 divided by what? 5, which is 4. 
4 times 5 is 20, and 23 minus 20 is 3. So our remainder is 3. Did you do your check for this here? Hope so. 134 times 5. And then remember to add back in that remainder. And there's that work for that check. Here's one more for you to try. And I want to see all those steps. I want to see those steps because you'll be able to follow these steps as you get bigger numbers. You might already know the answer. See if you can follow those steps to go ahead and show that you know them as well. 2 goes into 2 one whole time because 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. We bring down the 8 and divide by 2, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 minus 8 is 0. We bring down the 4, and then divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. A lot of students will forget that last step, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Do we write remainder 0? No way. Our check here is like this here and it checks. All right, let's go ahead and review. Point at our divisor. Hopefully you're pointing at the six here. Point at our dividend, or what we're dividing. Right there. And point where our answer is gonna go. Right here. Now in this lesson, we know that we're gonna end up with three digit quotients. However, you don't always have to have three digits inside of your quotient. If you're dividing a three-digit by number by a one-digit number, you can also just end up with two digits. 759 divided by 6, we start with the 7 divided by 6, which is 1. 1 times 6, which is 6, and 7 minus 6, which is 1. What's the next step? Bring down, right? And where are we going to bring that number down to. Next to the 1. After that we divide. What are we dividing? 15 by 6. And the answer to that is 2. We'll write that there. We'll write a 12 here and then we will write subtract. That's 3. Are we done? Can we write remainder 3? <laughs> We have to bring down our 9 still. There were still numbers to bring down. And we made sure to line these up nicely. And then so that's why we knew also that we were not done. 39 divided by 6 is 6. And 6 times 6 is 36. And 39 minus 36 is 3. We have to write that 3 as our remainder. And so don't forget to do that there. Our check again. What would be the expression to check this? It would be 126 times 6 in parentheses plus 3. Now, if I actually did that, then I would go ahead and I mean, evaluate it. 12 and 15, 5, 1, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 756 plus 3 is 759, and it checks. Again, division is a step-by-step-by-step -step -step approach where we do make sure to bring down one digit at a time and to line up our digits to follow those steps appropriately. And of course, when we're dividing, we use the reciprocal operation to check our work.